Isaac Newton's first law is his law of inertia. And in this law of inertia, he describes how a mass, and remember a mass is, is any object that is made of matter and has weight. And of course, a dancer has mass. And therefore, this uh, example is definitely can be applied to, to dance. And so first of all, any mass, any object that has mass or matter that has then a force applied to it, will move. Now that sounds fairly simple, but it, it really is a, a simple law, but it has a few little tweaks to it that you may not have uh, considered before that really quite make this quite interesting, but are very important for the way that objects move around in space. The two basic principles for the law of inertia is that in order for a mass to move, we of course need a force applied to it but also to change, to change, I'll use the triangle there for change, change the movement of a mass, you also need to apply a force. So let's look at a, a simple example here of, uh, down on this side here we have, you can imagine a, a ball sitting on a perfectly flat table. Now, if we were to push this ball, if we were to push it here to the right and apply a force to it, then you can appreciate that ball would roll along the table. Now, if there were no other forces like friction or air resistance or any other sort of forces that were stopping that ball, that ball would then roll and roll and roll and roll for as long as that table is long. And basically, because there are no other forces acting on that ball, it would just continue to roll until it fell off the edge of the table. If it were 100 meters, if it were 100 kilometers long, if there were no other forces acting on that ball, it would just roll and roll and roll until it found the edge of the table. So in order to stop the ball, we then need an opposing force or we need another force that might go in the opposite direction. Or if you could imagine in more of a three dimensional space, we could have sort of a side force that would move the ball off in another direction along the table and maybe push it off the side of the table. But basically, we need a force to start the movement of the ball, and then we need another force to either change the direction of the ball or to change or to stop the ball completely. Now, this is just exactly the same for dance. A dancer obviously has mass, and we need forces either from the floor or from gravity or from the bar or from a, a partner to enable that dancer to move around in space or the dancer might create their own forces using energy within their muscles but the law of inertia explains that in order for a dancer to move it needs some sort of force to act on it act sorry act on the dancer in order for them to move and in order for them to dance so it's a really important law and in the next law we'll talk about newton's law of acceleration where we will consider how the size of the mass influence interacts with the size of the force.